we're actually here out today on John Morahan's farm in Kilmaine, County Mayo. He actually finishes around 130, 140 cattle each year. So John, can you just talk us through your system? So I came out to your farm kind of at the end of September. We started them on low levels of feed in October and we gradually built them up to ad lib um, starting off in November. How did it actually get on, John? Yeah, I'm very pleased with them. They're up on, say, 10 to 11 kilos. Uh, of the mix and then they're on the four kilos of Orna Gold, half kilo of straw and maybe two kilos of silage. And how did that actually adapt to the mix? Was there any digestive upsets? No, or? Very, compared to any year I was very very pleased. Uh, no scouring, they're very relaxed the whole time just just comfortable like. Now here we're actually looking at another bunch that'll be going in a week. We see they're well covered there, like geez, you could actually pick out a bundle of them now and kill. Yeah. What actually were the other bulls the killing at? The bulls were maybe a small bit older and stronger. They average at 468 kilos dead weight. Were they all in the kind of U's? Was there even an Audi? Was yeah, there? an Audi, yeah, and all U's and just the right fit in numbers, not, you know, not lean, just uh, well finished off. So I was very pleased with them. and. Uh, this them ones, I'd be pleased enough with them too now. Yeah. So this is actually just an example. Um, John Morton rang, rang us, um, Kieran Mill. We came to his farm. We tested silage. We actually tested his own and gold. We actually said that in place to kind of achieve around 1.8, 1.9 kilos a day. We went with a high cereal mix, predominantly maize. They were gradually brought up to this over 20, 21 days. Um, and then they were finished on around 90 days ad lib feeding. Like, um, so as you see, you can see the bulls. There's actually a bull going to be ready now in a week. He's actually ready if you want. He's well covered at the top and he's just a good block type of a bull. So to actually find out more, phone Kieran Millen.